I've been reading and watching recently uh, with just around the area of diet and kind of the typical Western diet. And honestly, uh, I'm not going to go into any gruesome details, but if people really knew what they were eating, what they were eating, I'm sure it would turn their stomach. You know, the processed, synthetic, chemical-infused concoctions that we call food that sit in the center aisles with their long shelf life and low prices really are beckoning unsuspecting diners to an early death. And, uh, it, it, you know, what the, the word that came, my kids actually have been singing a song called Eat the Word by a band called The Tribe and um, about kind of imbibing of God's word. And th those, those words, eat the word, just came into my mind and my heart this morning as I was sat down to write. And I think the same, in the same way that we can get caught up in um, a very typical but unhealthy natural diet, it's very true also for the diet of words and images that we allow into our front rooms, plaster on billboards and like uh, uh, pushed into our face through magazines, newspapers, and of course, those ever scrolling news feeds on whatever platform you choose to mention. You know, this steady drivel of death, destruction and dripping consumerism, you know, just daily stuffed through the eyes and ears of people really does just steal hope and leaves people feeling spiritually emaciated. You know, it's like we, we may be fed well on the outside, but we're absolutely starved for true sustenance on the inside. You know, like the delicious words of celebrity gossip, the panic-stricken dramas playing out on the world stage, uh, like are like are as addictive as caffeine if we allow ourselves to lean into them, you know. But we must not. We must lean our hearts into something far more healthful and life-giving, because ultimately, what goes in must come out. You know, a bad natural diet will will eventually manifest itself in various ailments in our body and often in other areas, our emotions, our mind, our energy levels, you know, and feeding that fever with the same witch's brew of entertainment uh, will never cure the disease. You know, if we continue to do what we've always done, we will always get what we've always got. You know, if we don't change what we do, expecting a different result is tantamount to craziness. Something has to change. You know, gobbling the next trend or fad will not roll away the stone. You know, it's a, we're going we're gonna to cre creeping yeah, a day by day closer and closer to an early death through the things that we consume outwardly and inwardly, you know, we want to we want to like roll that stone away and just move away from that in some way. And I just want to I, I just want to kind of encourage you and remind you that God's word is sweet to the store to the soul. And if you're starved for reality, it's in the book. Psalm 119, 103 says, How sweet are your words to my taste. Yes, they are sweeter than honey in my mouth. Now, what we choose to eat in, in the natural is important, but even more so the words that we choose to eat. Man doesn't live by bread alone, Jesus said, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. God's words are life-giving. And these words that we speak of are eaten directly to the heart through the eyes and the ears. The eyes and the ears are the gateway to our inner man. And what we put in them will act like a seed and will grow up and bear fruit in our life. You know, the scriptures tell us that, you know, what we hear, 
yeah, will develop faith in our lives, that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And if we imbibe doubt, fear, confusion, sadness, strife, it's going to show up in, in the way we live and the way we think. You know, as I say, the good book says faith comes by hearing. And so the question is, what are you hearing? Are you choosing to hear things that minister life and grace and strength to your spirit? Or are you listening to things that draw life from you, that pull life from your inner man and cause you to feel um, less than and weaker? You know, are you feeding your spirit man things that will minister strength? The scriptures say in Proverbs 4, 20 to 22, My son or daughter, attend to my words, incline your ear to my sayings. Let them not depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart, for they are life to those that find them and health to all their flesh. Eyes, ears, words and sayings, heart and health, life to those that find them. Well, thanks for listening. Hopefully uh, it's been an encouragement to you today. If you want to connect any further, you can do so through my website at davidleemartin.com. Have a great day.